Hi guys, welcome to Superflows. I am Rishi, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to add a back button to your React Superflows navigation bar. In the previous videos, we have seen how to get started with the navigation bar, how to customize the menu, add branding info, how to work with the search input, the sign in button, and how to also insert the profile information. If you uh, need to revisit these videos, I am uh, adding their links in the description. So let us proceed forward from there. By default, the back button is hidden and the menu button shows. To show the back button, set the show back prop to true. Also note that at one, uh, at one time, that is simultaneously, you cannot show both the menu and the back button. Either of these two buttons will show. If you don't set the show back property to true, the menu button will show. If you set the show back property um, to true, the back button will show and the menu button will get hidden. Usually, uh, you need to add the back button in, in the navigation bar only in inner screens. And mostly for these screens, it's, uh, and mostly for these screens, you really don't need the menu, nor do you need the search input and the sign-in button. So you can hide all of them. Of course, uh, from implementation uh, to implementation, it may vary. But just as a general guideline, I am telling you. I am quickly showing you an example here. Now, if you want to uh, change the icon of the back button, that is also possible pass the icon object you can choose any icon of your choice just pass it to the back icon prop here in this example that i'm showing you i have used the left arrow icon from the react uh, bootstrap react icons library you can actually use any library of your choice just remember to pass the icon object to the back icon uh, prop Now, if you want to uh, listen to the event when the user clicks on the back button, you can simply subscribe to the on back press prop. I am showing an example here. Now, if you want complete control over uh, the look and feel of the back button, that is also possible using inline CSS. Uh, just use any of the back related style props for the same. That's it then. In this video, I have showed you, I have shown you how to add the back button to your React navigation bar. If you find this video useful, do not forget to press the like button. Also do subscribe to my channel to stay in touch and learn more about rapid react development with Superflows. Thank you.